there you can see the sky is pretty rough again some brighter spots up there but looking down the river it ain't looking good it's looking twice that bad but i will uh i'm gonna stay out here till i find at least one point and i'll do it i'm in good spots all of this is all this whole stretch of river is good i can go two miles up that way and be right right back on some stuff up there either way i can go that way or the other way i'll get back when i find something and i will later all right this is just a continuation of this video i'm still here there's two nice probably both hopewell points and pottery and i just dipped this screen once don't even have it sifted down and i see two points right here right here's a oh that's that might be a a hoop well i think it is it's either a table rock or a hoop well it's not really ground i'd call that a hoop well and right here's a nicer point right here a green one look at that it's hard to tell what's here that's nice that's a nice looking little green point look at that two more to add to the collection i already put on the video you will already see this if you missed this one it'll be my last video and same day look at that and there's a nutting stone i didn't film that because i found it up on the shore and i think i found it before and threw it up there and forgot it but there's another pitted stone i'm gonna take it this time i'll get back on my next one all right we'll take a look at both of these points that were in that screen together this is a hoop well. It's made out of Flint Ridge. See it there. And you can see here. Look at the base on that one. Compared to this one I found. It's exactly the same. And this has a little bit of grinding. Just because it's woodland doesn't mean it won't have grinding. It just depends on the maker. You can see ground base. Um, it's a shame the tip's going on that. But that's what it is. It looks table rockish, but it's not. It's not a table rock. It's a hoop well. And you can see the date there. It's a woodland period piece. And here's this other point. This is an archaic piece. And there's definitely archaic stuff there because later in the video I find a broken Amos point that would have just, oh, still makes me want to cry. But this has been resharpened. But it's some kind of archaic dart point for sure. Um, not really sure if it's a Burton. Kind of looks like a Burton, but I, I'd have to. It's just one of them points that just call it archaic. But that's not bad either, huh? Pretty nice point. Well, anyway, I'll get back. There's more fun. At least it stopped sprinkling, but it's going to thunderstorm later. It's real humid today. It's like in the 70s, even overcast. It's just horrible, but second screen in here i got a point see if you see it it's pretty nice but in the same screen piece of indian pottery probably mississippi and all these little flakes and right here's a broken point you can see it's impacted at the top real nice material see the impact here it's a flint ridge point i'd say it's a hoop well it's just busted the base is snapped off and it's impacted but i got a madison and it is nice see it should be about right in the center of the screen right there yeah that's nice that's a nice one true bow and arrow point all right these screens look at the the red rock it's from being heated it's falling right out of the bank above me about every place on the river with high banks around it like this there's artifacts there it's you got to find them they might have muck all over them you know it's hard to say but it's hard to tell how many videos i'll make in here today and how many points i will find i might find a few more i might find you know 10 more it just depends on how long i stay how long i can take the digging later all right i'll give you a look at some of this stuff i found today that's a pretty nice madison it's a true bow and arrow projectile, 800 to 1,000 years old where I'm at. It's pretty decent. That's a pretty nice little point. I'm happy to find it. It's good enough to frame. 
Let it, all right, I'll probably have to just leave this on my head. I'll have to wear a toboggan and stuff. I took my toboggan off because this strap on this thing will rub your head after a while and you start getting sweaty. But I got another point. It's busted, but thought I'd show you. Look how good these screens look. You know, right there, I didn't see that. There's a piece of blown up Indian pottery. It's exactly what it is. But the point's right here. It's busted up. Would have been decent though. But I'm still looking through this and I'm gonna be looking here for a while. I'll film my phones. Flat this flint ridge flakes, chert flakes, and a big piece of pottery, and this is just out of this screen. Four or five shovelfuls of dirt. Right there's another tiny finishing flake right there. This is what you want to be seeing if you're on a good place. And you're probably on a good place. You know, this stuff was buried under muck. And there's just a thin layer of it. And I'm just picking at it with my shovel. and putting it in my sifter. And it's full of artifacts. You gotta take that into consideration. Later. Oh, this would have been awesome. Look at that, Adina. That's probably an Adina, the stem on it translucent material busted man that's a shame oh might even well i don't think it's an ashtabule i'd have had to see it it's kind of got that open side on it we'll, that's man that would have been a wheat maker real trans oh man folks later kind of eyeballing this to see if i saw anything else i did one wash and this was right here look at this hammer stand Bespalling hammer. You can see the use on it right there too. All through here, they've been using it. I'm gonna take that. That's pretty nice. It's hard stone and it has use. That's a nice spalling hammer. But it is. I got a base of a point. It would have been stinking nice. I'd say that's a hoop well. Right here. Right around that Chalcedony tempered pottery, and I would call that a hoop well base. A classic hoop well base. Flint ridge, that would have been a beauty. There's a bunch of stuff in here, folks. That's too bad. But now I have this to put in the frame of the pottery that is this same flint crushed up. So a little bit closer to solving the mystery. I don't want to jump the gun. I'm going to look here for years before I really put forth an opinion on what that pottery is, but that's pretty promising, and that's a shame that's broke. Later. Now, here's this Flint Ridge Hapewell point right here, and you can see, I'll find another one later in the video made a Coshocton shirt, but you can see right there, see that? It, it's what it is. Um, and this is pretty significant because this is the same type of material. From this material do a little bit more translucent flint ridge that's the same color chalcedony type material that's in that pottery. And I'll go show you some of it next. That will go right in the frame with the pottery when I find more later. Well, before I start talking about this pottery and this point, um, why it's significant. I have on a bunch of videos. I dug this pottery and stuff um, in a place. I have on thousands of videos like this. But right here, go back and what, I have playlists. And you just if you like this, I got plenty more content for you. But see y'all, see the weight crushed up Flint Ridge in this pottery. This, uh, you know, I don't want to jump the gun like I said in the video. But, you know, there isn't any other flint ridge points there except those tiny bird points and they're not on this area of that stretch if i go a fourth of a mile north i start getting into them but little flakes of it everywhere you can see that's the same stuff it's flint ridge from flint ridge state park and right there it is in this pottery and i'm trying to figure out and i assumed it was a dean or a hopewell or the bird point people but um 85 90% I'm leaning towards its Hapewell pottery and that fits right there is the point to go with the pottery so this is a pretty good day just for that it's kind of stuff that floats my boat 
and there's a rim of a pot with the same crushed up flint in it is that points made of so I'm pretty happy and you can see there's a couple flakes of it right there in this piece all in the cross section same material as the point and this pottery was 10 yards up the shore from where I sifted this point today same coming out of the same fire pits actually this is an extraordinary find you just right there's another rim with a piece of the same material as the break it's a shame the points break granted but this was a good day thank you for watching the same screen i'm standing out of your screen and this down and i got just another heartbreaker in the same screen side notch i'll have to look at it right here yeah it's ground Man, that would have been nice too. Huh. It's busted. That's odd material. It's on these big sandies. It's got medium grinding now. Huh. Man, that's a shell. Almost looks like it's made out of slate. But it's some kind of river cobble church. I knew this was going to start happening. It's raining now. I'm going to be safe, but I'm finding stuff, so I don't really care. At least it's warm. If it was November 15th, I probably wouldn't stay as long, but I'm doing pretty good. Got a nice Madison already, and three broken points, pottery, and I got a whole bunch of hammer stone. I'm doing okay. Well, I'm not sure if this is a tip or a base off an Adena, but it's Flint Ridge. You see it there. That's just... Yeah, I guess that's steaming. That would have been nice, whatever it was. Might be a tip. I can't tell. I'll have to look at it. But Pretty sure I got a day maker. It looks all there. Oh. Ha 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 ha. All right. Do you see this? I can't tell if it's a hoop well or it's just how I saw it. I don't. Every. One of the clips I do on my screen, I've not picked up the point. I've just seen it standing out in the water on my screen. Um, this is either a table rock or let me wipe the screen here. Get the thing me, so. I noticed in one of my last videos, I didn't notice that. And the whole clip on a nice point was blurred, but luckily I saw it and you got to see it. But you see it, it should be right about in the center of the screen. It's kind of obscure, obscured by a rock but I could see the tip on the other side it's right oh yeah oh this is beautiful this is probably a hoop well point it's just about like that last one that is nice and you know it's not broke that's how it's made it was spalled off a piece was spalled off and the point was made I find lots of points like that man that is a beaut wow Let's compare it to that cow Sydney one. See, it's some kind of hoop well. You know, I'm not in Central High. I'm in West Virginia right now. So the stuff, you know, I'm two hours from like Flint Ridge right now by car. However many miles that'd be. I'd have to look on a map, but the stuff's different to further away. You know, most books on stuff like this was written from looking sites in central ohio around flint ridge or around columbus you know i'm off of that and there's flint ridge stuff here these are made out of flint ridge plus they're made out of local church but that's nice black glossy black material that is a beauty later yeah this point's real super nice it's perfect it's a hope well um you can see, I'm in West Virginia, a lot of this stuff in this book's from like Ohio and Kentucky. I was in the, almost a Pennsylvania, and that's Coshocton material. It's, you see the white speck in it there? That's beautiful material, and it's even lightening up. It was down in that muck. You can start to see the blue in it here. It's a Coshocton churd hoop well, and that is a nice point. I appreciate you watching. You can never get away from these. I found one in here yesterday, too. Old paper shotgun shell head stamps. 
they're everywhere folks there's millions of them in the ground well, there's some stuff here that i didn't know was here i told you the high bank it's hard to tell what is here i just got a broken amos point it would have been a scorcher right here oh and it's blunted it's got some damage here but that's definitely blunted you can see the blunt work there on it oh that would have been nice would have had another hanging barb you can see the serrations we'll stop on this one real ground base that is a classic amos base and I've, yeah that might not be blunted i think it's broke it's broke I, it kind of looked blunted but it's not that is just an absolute heartbreaker i will uh i have frames of these maybe i'll put up i'll put up a video at the end that shows what this point would have been like oh that's disgusting if that would have been whole and i would have got an amos that thing would have been that long oh real fine edge work on it here and you can start to see the serrations that would have been a scorching stein. It's better than this other stuff I'm fine. And the other stuff, you know, is nice. But this point is thousands of years older. It's Kirk cluster of points. Just, you know, 9,000 plus years old. Oh. oh, fakes. But what a day. I'm staying two or three more hours, so... I'll have this much more stuff. I'm going to put this away in my boat and start a new video. Later. Well, you can see this. This probably looks familiar. It's an Amos. You can see the serrations going up the edge there. Would have been a pretty nice size one. Just had to be break, didn't it? But that's how it goes. Real polished base. Ground notches. That is a shame. A real shame. Later. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get out of here now. I started my second video, but I'm finding stuff down there, but it's just pouring, so I'm gonna have to go. This is just too much rain. I'll be souped. Later. It, I had to pull back in a spot. It started raining so hard on my old kayak back. So I pulled in here, and I'm doing test screens in here along this log, and where's it at? Okay, I got a huge piece of pottery. We'll just include this in this video. Stopped raining at least, look at this. This is a big piece. That's the outside of the pot. You can see how it starts to just kind of flare right here. This would have probably been kind of a round base pot that would have flared up like this. I'll maybe do a drawing of it, but that's Mississippian. Um, I find triangles right in here. You can see all the little divots. That's where the shell, shell tempered. See more of it there. But that's, that's the side and it's going up towards the rim right there. That's a big piece. Later.